the greatest occasion ever in English club rugby history. The two dominant sides of the last decade meet in the Pilkington Cup final. A world record crowd, 58,000. Fred Hard, the geography master from Rivington School in St Helens, sets the game in motion. And it's Bath in their lucky white through Fred Sago. Touchdown for the dropout from Dusty Hare's start of his last match. Stuart Barnes, captain of the side, in a sixth final in the Cup history. What an atmosphere. This is the occasion now that we've been hoping would develop from the inception of the Knockout Cup. Sago. And it's Leicester, first time hands on ball, Isaka. Young hooker. This time Hill spoiling, but it's Hill, Hall's pass that goes to Cardoni and Dean Richards is there. On goes Tom Smith, on drives uh, Richards again inside from Folks Arnold. Good interplay, and that's good Leicester support. Yes, good counter-attacking work here. Absolutely, and look at the forwards and support. Both sides, Dean Richards got an option, he gets the ball back again. And again, he's got both sides he can go and draws the last man, and, but it wasn't a back there. Just a saving bath hand in the way. But now it's Barnes. Not quite where he intended. Hare has time to weigh up the options. Fires one to the far touch line. Oh, that's a gem. Meantime, Richards for Leicester. Bath under a real mounting attack now with Dodge. Cardoni trying to act as link, but it's broken down, and away comes Halliday. Up to the halfway, it's a race with Rory Underwood and Halliday together. The edge of speed for Underwood, but he lost it, but it rebounded, luckily for Leicester. And Cusworth bounced out by Jeremy Guscott. Hill. Oh, that's valuable work by Cardoni. But it breaks up a bit in defence, and Hare comes away with the fly hack. Barnes, followed by the Newark Farmer. Cusworth could be 4-3 to three here. Dodge, the pace of Evans against Sago. The handoff's good, but he's in touch. Leicester's 10-metre line. And Simpson quickly in the fray. Hall in support. That's Hall setting it up. Hill, Robinson, at Cusworth again. Flick back by Simpson. Guscott thought about the chip through. Finds his pack. Chilcott from Robinson. Thrown in now. Down by Richards and turned. But Hill again. Sago chasing, recovers it, can he make it to the line? Just taken out with a tremendous covering tackle at the corner by John Wells, it was. A try-saving tackle, if ever there were. Still the incessant roaring of support, 58,000 here. Still the outcome unknown, with just about three minutes remaining. Six points apiece. A short, sharp chant of Bath, Bath. As they attack again on the throw-in. Cronin in the middle, taps it down to Chilcott. Hill sweetly away to Barnes. Halliday trying to hammer away through the middle, looks for the support of Swift. It could be on here with Palmer to Sago. Just not the impetus, it's Guscott now. Held up two metres out. Hill, does he ground it? The crowd claim it, the referee denies it. Well, it looked on as Palmer came. And then Hill himself having a final foray. And the players there was Hill, but Leicester got underneath him, I think. Referee well placed. But it's a bath put in with two minutes remaining. 
can they clinch this double in the dying moment? Simpson held and Hall too, but they're trying to roll it off. Robinson's in the van. It's there for Hill, goes again, Barnes. Barnes is in! What a time to do it, the joy unbounded for the Bath skipper. The timing. Unbelievable. But they kept their cool, they kept their concentration and gradually began to dominate. And Leicester, in the end, forced to concede. Hill, and watch Barnes here, he had the man outside in Sago, but he committed Barry Evans and took it himself. The workman like John Wells. But Bath have control. Paul Simpson's done well since coming on for Edgerton. Hill, in two minds, caught by Smith. And one or two of the players uh, just uh, feeling the extremes of fatigue and exhaustion. And Barnes, uh, that'll please his back. Yes, they've done it. Bath victorious. It took them a while to settle down against Leicester's brave performance. 6-0 with those dusty hair penalties. But the triumph was theirs as they stormed back in the second half. Well, a great cup final. Not a host of tries, but one that was decisive. And uh, I'm sure a game that will encourage these record numbers to come to Twickenham for next year's final, regardless of who's in it. And there, uh, a joyous moment for Stuart Barnes as the cup is passed by the deputy managing director of Pilkick and Derek Cook to the president, John Simpson. And that's the moment that Bath have dreamed of this season and since they last took the title in 1987. Stuart Barnes, the Pilkington Cup belongs to Bath. But underneath, well, he can only reflect and look back with uh, emotion, I'm sure, on a great career and a final disappointment. And you can see the contrast, uh, a warm gesture from Dean Richards. And courteous congratulations from Stuart Barnes. Old friends and uh, for Dusty Hare at 36, no fairy tale finale. As the younger men come to take his place, he will long be remembered. And so too, a world record crowd for an epic final. But it's Bath with that remarkable double. The Courage Leagues, the Pilkington Cup, they win 10 points to six at the death.